Hey there, everyone. How you doing? My name is Courtney, and welcome to the first Help Me Devon Ableton Raw tutorial. In this tutorial today, I wanna to show you guys how to record vocals in Ableton, how to go about setting up your tracks and just executing the entire process of recording a simple vocal into your DAW. So let's get started. So when you first open up Ableton, you'll be welcome to a screen like this. Maybe not exactly like this, um, but it's gonna be a blank canvas for the most part. As you can see, I have two tracks right here that's a reference and two track. Um, essentially, they're both the same thing. I interchange them either or, but really what you want to use them as is the basis for your instrumental track. So whatever MP3 you downloaded, whatever WAV file you downloaded, you're going to throw it in those tracks. So if we click here and so now we have our MP3 and I've already set the BPM of the project to this, but fun fact. If you drag and drop uh, your audio files and once they're fully loaded and rendered out and everything, you can look over here where it says sample and you'll see that right under warp and follower where it says segment BPM, Ableton tells you what the native BPM of your audio file is. So you can just adjust your uh, project BPM accordingly. Now, now that we have that in here, let's take a listen. So the first thing you wanna do always um, I'm a person that throws like mastering processing on my master and whatnot. That's not really important, but I say that to say this, when you bring in your audio files, you want to turn them down. It's not good to have them like loud. No one likes their ears getting blasted out and it's not cool to have your vocal competing with the track that you're trying to record to. So I'm going to double click right here and turn this down maybe about 8 dB. Just give myself a little bit of leeway. So with that finally done, let's go ahead and take a listen and see if we So as you can see, the track loaded up fine. Uh, so the next step you're gonna wanna do now, you're gonna wanna add a track and you can right click here on this uh, two track uh, track or whichever track you put your instrumental onto. Um, and you can either insert audio track or as you can see right there, you can use the hotkey control T. So I'm gonna do that because it's faster. Control T, so we have a new audio track. So here is where you're going to be recording, you know, your vocals, your instruments, whatever. The best, the biggest thing that you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to when you're recording, this thing right here in this area that says latency, buffer size, you're gonna to wanna to change your hardware setup to where this buffer size goes down to 128 samples or anything from there and below. Why you're gonna to wanna to do this is because when you're recording, the bigger the buffer size, the bigger amount of latency, something you call something called latency you introduce. And that's essentially, long story short, a delay, a delay in the signal from the input of the microphone to where it's outputting in your DAW. Um, you want to turn it down to 128, 64, uh, et cetera, to get as little latency as possible. You want your vocal to take as instantly as possible from it coming out of your mouth. And then one more thing you can do is you can come back over here to options and there's this option right here that says reduced latency when monitoring. You're gonna to wanna to click that and make sure the check mark over there is showing just to make sure it gives it, it gives you that extra boost of reduced latency so that you have no delay at all whatsoever during your recording process. So with all that done, uh, with your track armed and everything, all you wanna do is click where you would like to start and then click this record button right here. You don't wanna click this button, this clear record button. Uh, let's bring up the help screen right here. That's a session record button. Um, in this mode, the mixing mode in Ableton, that's what it's more geared towards for recording MIDI, recording patterns, all that stuff. Stay away from that button when you're, whenever you're recording vocals. So you're gonna to wanna to click this filled in record button here, the arrangement record button, and then you should be good to go. So let's try it out and see. So as you can see, we just recorded a audio file right there. So the one thing I want to leave you guys with, uh, noticed when it was recording, the green levels over here start to jump to red. It means that it's clipping and it's, it's, a, it's a bad thing, but it's not something to get too caught up over. Uh, just be aware that you shouldn't be clipping when you're recording into your DAWs. Uh, 
negative 6 dB is, uh, negative 10 to negative 6 dB is an ideal range for you to, um, for you to bring audio in to a workstation. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Um, you can always affect the volume either through the input volume on your interface, or you could just turn the track down from right here in Ableton. Um, but yeah, that is a very simple and short tutorial with how to record vocals into Ableton Live 10. I hope you guys learned a lot and I hope this helps you in all your songs, your projects and anything that, you know, you're trying to put out there. So that should be it for uh, the first Ableton Help Me Devon Raw tutorial. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Catch you later.